Hey, it's Bill Gross, the LA probate expert.com. Coming today from my hotel room in New York, I'm actually in Long Island in the city of Plainview. If you know Long Island, uh, the Hicksville station stop is next to Plainview. And I'll be here for the week actually, do my Zoom calls on Tuesday and Thursday from New York City. Really excited about that. But I want to give a quick update on the real estate housing market because it continues to show intense demand, uh, historical levels. And the question is, is this a, a, a bubble that's going to burst and go backwards? Is it going to slow down at some point? And um, so we're watching this real closely. Today, I highlight an article from Bloomberg Business Week, which gives a lot of factors suggesting this is not a bubble. There's actually pent up demand uh, for a lot of factors. The credit is harder to get than ever. In some regards, it's true. In the, in the last real estate bubble in 2008 and 9. Loans were easier to get than ever. Now that is not the case. And financing buyers are frustrated by cash buyers jumping the line ahead of them, but credit's harder to get than before. Also, the last bubble, there were new houses being built and home builders were enjoying part of that bubble as well and got, got hurt when the market slowed down. That's not happening to the same degree today. There's not as much new housing being built for a lot of reasons, land more expensive, land use restrictions, prices going up of uh, materials, prices going up of labor. So all these factors kind of indicate that perhaps the value of property is gone up and that buyers are, are chasing after that number to the new value. And that's what I see. I'll give you an example. I had sold a property, put in escrow at $1.1 million, uh, $1 million, $1 million, $1 million. We had three offers at above one one. The buyer had financing required. He was a strong buyer, we thought, but the appraisal came in at $960,000. Now, the challenge of appraisers is they're getting comparable sales that closed three to six months ago. And the agent called me and said, well, the appraisal came in low. Will your seller reduce the price? And we had planned for this. And we said, well, no, we have multiple offers over this price. That, that, that those sales comparables uh, do not indicate the market value today. Go knock on the door of people who bought property three months ago three months ago, six months ago, see if they'll sell you their house. They're not selling their house because they know it's gone up in value. They're excited about the buy that they made. So we can't rely on the appraised value of a property. That's really a snapshot in time in the past to tell us where the market value is today and how do we know the market value today. Well, we price a property, we get, we get feedback. That's either called offers or no offers. That tells us where the market is. It's real important you have professionals helping you here more than ever. They're on your side and on your side exclusively, not working for the other side as well. If you have questions on this, call me, text me, or email me. I link below a great article from Bloomberg that goes into these um, discussions in detail. But as always, uh, I'm here to help you personally. If you need me, reach out to me. Thank you so much. Let's make this week a fantastic week.